I'm Riga. I'm Amrit. And we are in our black and our white along with the whole crew of girls. We're in Delhi in our studio in Shamrajad. Uh, we've been, we're uh, from Toronto, a India-based brand. We've been around for eight years. Mm -hmm. um, we grew up in Toronto, so we would, uh, had a very Toronto diverse experience. Uh, we grew up with a lot of uh, people of color and listening to R&B and hip hop and uh, moved out to India about 10 years ago. Nine to 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. to Bombay, um, where we started our brand out of our bedroom <laughs> <laughs> for five years actually out of that space and uh, yeah we went on our first textile kind of visit yeah it was just kind of like let's take a trip we went to uh, the northwest of India to Kutch um, and we were just blown away we met these two brothers who do tie and dye and went there for a few hours but ended up spending two weeks mm -hmm. and came back with some fabrics mm -hmm. made a collection went to Paris did a trade show Got an order. Okay. We're like, okay. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah, yeah. We got an order by a Japanese buyer. Yeah, but still, it was, it it was in Paris. It was <laughs> like legit though. Nothing like, wrong Japanese with Japanese buyers. Buyer. Yeah, no, it's again. a great day. It's, great. it's the best. Day. Yeah, they got the attention to detail. I'm sure yeah, they appreciate it. Yeah, that's like a good look. We're like, yeah. oh, not where you a buyer, you're a Japanese buyer. You that's know, like, crazy. Yeah. Good um, stuff. Yeah, and from there we had like a little bit of savings, so we decided to kind of put it into this brand and see what can happen uh, with the support of our real wicked family and friends in our community, amazing people um, that we've dealt with from, from day one and that we still work with. Um, our master tailor, who's done our sampling from day one, he actually is with us um, till this day and he moved from Bombay to Delhi with us. Wow. The three of us. Wow. Yeah, it was the three of us that shifted out. That's amazing. Yeah. Because you did say you were in Bombay. So when did years. you when did you move out this way? Three years ago in April. Yeah. yeah, it's been three years. We were kind of like just checking out Delhi. We've heard that a lot of the textile and fashion industry is based out of Delhi for um, for India and so we wanted to kind of be closer to a lot more artisans and a lot more skills and people and so it's kind of worked out for us. Um, Guam is super expensive to to have space. It's kind of mm -hmm. the feel of Manhattan in that way. Yeah. Um, it's really tiny spaces, super charming, super cozy but fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to come check it, this out and we landed upon um, this really cute space and in a really nice village in South Delhi right now. Um, it feels like a, the charm of Bombay when you go downstairs. Mm. There's a lot of small gullies and people and life out here. So it gives us a vibe. Yeah, it gives us a... It's definitely a vibe. Yeah, yeah, it gives us some strength and vibe to be in such a big city because Delhi is super spread out. There's yeah. lots of cars, there's a right. lot of people, there's a lot of green too, but you have to kind of access it. Mm. So this is kind of our island oasis amongst like the big city vibe. Amazing. Yeah. So you guys have been around for about what, 10 years, you said? The brand's been around for 8 years. 8 years. Eight years. Good, good, good. And it started with like a heavy focus on handmade textiles and reviving stories about how certain processes are done and techniques are made. So with our first, I think, three or four collections, we had a process films um, explaining how things are done, mm -hmm. but kind of cut in a in our style, so with our type of music and like and styling and stuff and kind of taking textiles out of a very like old granny space mm -hmm. like yeah. why do they yeah. have to be so boring right. you know right. 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 why do they have to be archival in these mm -hmm. like old museums and yeah. stuff yeah. very classical so we're like yo these are really beautiful things that are art like each mm -hmm. piece of fabric can be art and so why don't we talk about that? So it kind of started from that space and we've evolved like every year. It's now turned into like a cultural platform where we're representing people of color, women of color, we're women-led business, we're running a business out of India, which is one of, I think, the most difficult things to do. Mm. Um, and especially coming from a Toronto mind space where things are taken care of in a different way to learn the processes out here and deal with you know, engaging with people and a lot of men. It's been a crazy experience, but when we were talking to our friend Natasha, 
she was like, yo, like, while you're training out here, you're like basically like training for life, right. you know? Yes. And that's a really nice way of looking at it. Cause mm. it's like, yeah, we're feeling like we're getting stronger every day because we're trying to battle things out mm. in ninja style, a lot of things happening. Yeah. So when we go back to Toronto, we're like, oh, this is easy. It's easy. <laughs> it's it's easy. easy. We were in a factory like, and it's like, 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 this is nothing. Like, that is very true. <laughs> These are true words, actually. You know? Like, Great stuff. It's, well, we've, we've like stuck it out, but while well, sometimes it, it gets really, really hectic yeah. and we're like, what the fuck are we doing? But um, when we meet good people who come into the space and like bring a nice vibe and energy, we're like, oh yeah. Yes, we're building. You're doing something, yeah, yeah, yeah. And with these things, it's it's kind of selling Natasha. It's a it's a worldwide family. There's a pocket. You're, you're three degrees away from these things in any town, any yes. city around the world. Yes. There are these pockets of amazing people that are doing beautiful things. Yeah. And some of these things, that's why we try to share these commonalities. Even coming in and listening to Erica Badu, like yeah, I was like, yo, this is some vibe in here. So. It transcends well with what you guys are doing. Exactly. It's it's, that's the thing, the platform now transcends us as people too, right? right? right. So one of the beautiful things I think that's come out of you know this work in our project is that we get to roll around the world now and find our people yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it's like literally, and they're there. They're yeah. there. They they're everywhere. And it's amazing to kind of keep building that. And it's crazy to see how diverse the space has become. You know, like when we were out in Toronto, like kind of just in the city, like working on our things and our projects, it was like there's a it's a big white space too in the art world, you know, mm. in the contemporary art world and like in the event scene and whatever. But like our crew that kind of came together were all a diverse crew out of Toronto, and right now that same crew is killing it in life, like everywhere, everywhere. Mm. Like we're close. Toronto is posted up everywhere, and so it feels nice for us to be out in India representing and also bringing Torontonians and like New Yorkers and everybody out here Beautiful. and kind of bringing that together right. and it feels really nice to, to kind of come full that. circle a little bit still a journey yeah, it's coming totally. out. <laughs> yeah. that's amazing, that's amazing yeah. thanks for making some time yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to I guess you guys are going to get my money <laughs> I'm like, I looked at myself like, oh, wait, where's my shit? <laughs>